UCLA football games are ghost towns these days. Is it the lack of general interest in the program? Is it the lack of good opponents right now playing um, in the Rose Bowl? Or is, that, is it that heat down in Los Angeles? Or is it a combination of everything that doesn't attract people to Bruin games in Westwood? Will this attendance problem be a bad look? And will it need to be changed for when they join the Big Ten in 2024? And I'm going to give them a solution to their attendance issue. This is not a new issue for the Bruins, okay? They've never been able to pack the Rose Bowl. See this tweet by Troy Aikman. When the Bruins were ranked highly when he was playing, they could barely pack the stadium. Now, this is a 90,000-seat Rose Bowl. The UCLA Bruins have no business having a 90,000 seat stadium. It's just what they've, it's just what they got right now. Remember the Rose Bowl is 27 miles off campus at UCLA. Have, I've never at the college level, right? You wanna draw as many people into your stadium, you wanna draw students and you wanna draw people that, you know, adults and everything, you wanna draw them on campus as well. You wanna show off your campus as much as you can. I've never been in a big fan of the off-campus stadium. And when you gotta travel, it's 33 minute drive without traffic. And what I've heard is that it is up to an hour drive with traffic on game day out to Pasadena at the Rose Bowl. That is good for nobody. Right now, it's a little bit of a bad look um, for the Big Ten. We'll see if they can get it figured out. But they need a new stadium, and they need it 10 years ago. There's no question about that. But I think what you need to realize is that UCLA is not, look, you you shouldn't expect them to fill a Rose Bowl. They're not Michigan. They're not Nebraska, Wisconsin, Penn State, Ohio State. They're not those passionate fan bases that pack the stadium no matter who they play. Even if those schools are playing an FCS team, they're going to pack the stadium. That's not what UCLA is. There, look, I don't think I'm creating any controversy here saying that teams in California, college football teams in California, if you're not in a dynasty or if you're not winning 10, 11, 12 games every single season, maybe your stadium will be half to three quarters full. That's just how it is. There's so many more options, right, from entertainment to sports. And now with two NFL teams, there's so many more options for entertainment in California, and especially Southern California, and especially in Los Angeles. And UCLA, quite honestly, probably doesn't even fit in the top 10 of those options in terms of entertainment. So you can't really blame it on the Bruins, and you can't blame it on these other programs. That's just how the market is. They don't have as passionate of fans out in California as there is in the Midwest. There's a lot more to do. In California, there's a lot better teams at the professional level, Um, you know, so you shouldn't fault UCLA, but they do have a solution to their problem and it's staring right in their face. Okay, let's talk about Drake Stadium. Drake Stadium, what's that? It's a 12,000 seat track and field facility on the UCLA campus. Here's a picture of it. 12,000 seats. You see that field right next to it? That's an intramural soccer field. Yeah, intramurals. That's what it's labeled at least as on Google Maps. You know what you do with that territory? You turn it into a football. And if you want to keep the track on there, the track and field facility right there. In that area, remember that's 12,000 seats where those seats are. You could probably build a 40,000 seat stadium. 35 to 40,000. Now. That will be the smallest stadium in the Big Ten Conference. Ryan Field would be the next smallest one um, at Northwestern. That's around 47,000 people, right? But you need to get, you need to get on campus, right? You need to get on campus uh, for recruiting. You need to get on campus for fan purposes to try and sell more tickets. It just needs to happen. Hopefully this Big Ten revenue will allow UCLA to do that and try to build up their football program a little bit by moving on campus and away from the Rose Bowl. It really is a necessity for this program. Will these empty stadium issues be an issue for the Big Ten? Here's how I look at it. 
Okay, you play teams that you've been playing for 100 years. You're playing Cal, or you're, yeah, you're playing Cal, Stanford, Oregon, Oregon State. You're playing all these teams. And it remains to be seen if the stadium will be just this empty, as you saw earlier um, in this video, for conference opponents. But if it is, like, if you're playing those teams that you've played for a long time and you've got quote-unquote rivalries out there in Cal and Stanford, all these other teams... Now, all of a sudden, you're not playing a team like Cal. Now you're playing Rutgers. Now you're playing Illinois. Now you're playing Northwestern. It might be cool the first time they come to Los Angeles, but sustained excitement for Illinois, for Northwestern, for all these teams, it's hard to imagine that that sustained excitement is going to happen while still traveling off campus and playing at the Rose Bowl. That's why an on-campus stadium is necessary. It's not necessarily necessary um, for USC because they've got a built-in, long-standing tradition and this stadium, look, I'm not saying it sells out all the time even when they're average, but they still get a lot more fans than UCLA does. UCLA doesn't have a ton of built-in history, a built-in tradition. Getting people on campus and familiar with campus could draw some people in to maybe boost the attendance or maybe not let it look as bad. It's just a bad look right now with all of those empty seats at the Rose Bowl right now. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Do you think you know, UCLA should get an on-campus stadium? Do you think they should move away from their deal with the Rose Bowl? How would that hurt everything? Should the Big Ten be pissed about what they're seeing right now at UCLA in terms of their fan support? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Make sure you subscribe to Big Ten Ted. I'm Big Ten Ted, and we will see you in the next one.